Hello friends, in continuation of our series of videos on cerebral palsy examination in children, I will be discussing today confusion test. It is frequently asked in practical examination as well as it is useful in day-to-day -day practice and surgical decision making. So let's see how it is done. I hope this is useful for all the viewers. Thank you. So the indications of using confusion test are these and we have already described in previous video the use of selective motor control in the CP examination. The function of tiberis anterior muscle is dorsiflexion at the ankle and supination at the forefoot. So what we do in confusion test is that patient is sitting on the edge of examination couch with hip and knee flexed with the legs hanging. We ask the child to flex the hips against the resistance of our hand with the hand position over the anterior aspect of distal thigh and we notice the position of ankle. Due to spasticity and low SMC, the tiberis anterior will be inadvertently used. That's why it is called confusion test. So the patient is actually flexing the hip but the action is going to the ankle and foot position. If we look at the EMG of tibialis anterior in confusion test positive cases, we will see hardly any firing in the swing phase. However, it is firing in the most of the stance phase. In the end, I would like to highlight that confusion test is not the only test to see the overactivity of tibialis anterior. We must examination the gait as well as the function of muscle in the dynamic aspect. Thank you so much.